And you said you don't like the spikes, but you wear the spikes. Is that a fair assessment? Look, uh, I'm an engineer, so like, these are a great piece of technology. You know, like, um, unfortunately, I think the governing body in track and field kind of, kind of whiffed on that one, and like, they instead of coming down with like good guidance, they kind of opened the Pandora's box for a new era in the sport. That now is like recalibrating it in a way we we can't keep up. And as athletes, and like. I mean, there's an athlete here I'm good friends with. It's sponsored by a different company. And like, I mean, I told him my confidence. I'm like, look, dude, if you're knocking on the door of getting Olympic standard time, there's, there's a pair of spikes that gets you 10 seconds right now. And like, how is that fair for athletes, you know, that are maybe beholden to another brand? Like, mm -hmm. uh, you said 10 seconds in a 5K? Yeah, think? sure, maybe more, you know, like, it's like, who knows? And that's the problem is like, you see these amazing times of athletes that had them a year before anyone else and no one realized how good they were and it's like, I think it's a little unfair, right? Uh, that's why I love cross country. Like, me against Salima was Terre Haute in 40 degrees, leading rain, and who was gonna be stronger and tougher and fitter on the day. And like, didn't matter what was on our feet, didn't matter the pacing or light system on the track, it's just like racing. And uh, I think we're just gonna have to come to grips with that in the sport. Like, I'm gonna wear them because I'm not an idiot, and I know I would be leaving seconds to my competitors if I didn't wear them. But until it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, the ball's, that moment is past to do anything about it. And yeah. now we just kind of have to now deal with the collateral damage as athletes and fans of the sport. So um, any athlete, look, everyone's training hard. I think I'm the fittest I've ever been. I'm training super hard, right? Mm -hmm. And like had a great three weeks on Arizona, great track workout, best, best times I've been running. But I, you have to acknowledge the benefit of the spike size wings. Like, it's, I want to say I'm fit, but yeah, like part of it was the spikes. Now I beat guys that were also wearing the spikes mm -hmm. and most people are wearing good footwear nowadays, but you just don't know, you know? And if I had finished third, I'd probably be blaming not having the spikes for my loss. So I just think we just need to have an open, honest conversation about it. And I think athletes need to give more credit to the, like the footwear and until other, like other brands are catching up and I like the other technology advancements out there, just like what happened on the road four years ago. But there's this lag period where it's unequitable and the rich get richer and everyone's left scrambling to catch up. And when you're an athlete like me, there was, didn't get renewed in my contract right before COVID. Part of you has to wonder like, well, was it because I didn't have exclusive access to the early spikes and wasn't running 10 seconds faster in the steeple? Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, it's, it's just a weird part in sport. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like this race yeah, I, I think there's been great commentary on it, but uh, just from my perspective, like, we just need to be open and honest about what we're Thanks, Chris. Appreciate your thoughts. Best of luck. Thank you. Yeah.